Hi, I'm Shelly Young, the owner of The Chopping Block, and I'm going to teach you how to make a roasted pepper today. The first step, grab a pepper. I'm using poblanos and red peppers today. This is a technique you can use for any type of pepper. And I'm going to take a little bit of grapeseed oil, you can use olive oil, corn oil, whatever you have around the house, and just rub a little bit of that on the outside of the pepper. We do this because it helps to conduct the heat uh, and blister the skin. What we're going to do here is blister the skin over an open fire. And sometimes peppers are knobby and curled and they have little crevices and heat is hard to get in there. So the oil helps with that. And as you can see, you don't need very much just to coat the pepper. So we have an open flame here. We have a gas stove, which works great for fire roasted peppers. We put it directly onto the burner. If you don't want to do this or you don't have a gas burner at home, if you have just an electric stove, you can also do this in the oven. What I like to do is put the oven on broil and use the same techniques. I just rub the oil on the peppers, put them on a sheet pan, parchment lined sheet pan, and pop them in the oven. And even in the oven, you'll rotate them occasionally so that they blister and char on all sides. So you can see our peppers are beautifully charred on the outside. The skin is just charred. I can see a little bit of color underneath of there, and that's okay. It helps me know that the pepper is not completely burnt on the inside. Just the skin on the outside is burnt. The next step here is we're going to put these into a, a bowl, or a Ziploc baggie also works, but sometimes the Ziploc baggies melt, so I like a glass bowl. I add my steaming hot peppers, and we're going to cover that with saran wrap, plastic wrap something that's going to create a tight seal. Inside of those peppers is steam. They're just filled with steam. What's going to happen here is that they're going to continue to cook. When you're cleaning your roasted peppers, there's a temptation to want to run these under the water in the sink to get all the little bits of black off. And it's certainly a lot easier to, to rinse out the seeds by running it underwater. But what that does is it does rinse off a lot of the beautiful, sweet roasted pepper flavor. And these little tiny bits of black, if you have a small quantity on there, they're not necessarily objectionable. They might even add a little bit to your dish. So don't worry about getting every bit of it off. my pepper. I just put this in a Tupperware container in the refrigerator if I'm not going to use it all right now. And it's ready whatever I want for my favorite pasta dishes and salads. Uh, you can also use it on sandwiches. It's delicious. And that is how you roast a pepper.